Welcome back to We Happy Few. Last episode, we explored more around Lud's home, around the treehouse and the mystery house area. Now I'm going to head up here to this dig spot and see if there's anything to uncover along the way. And then I'm going to do some of the other quests back in the more populated areas of Lud's home. So I'll bring you back if I find something. Otherwise, I'll bring you back right at the dig site. All right, I moved like 20 feet and I think I've already found something. This on the map is just... Just like a circle with a path around it, but it, it looks significant. This looks like a thing. Oh yeah, it's a quest. I am what I am. Come back at night. Ooh, this bench is floating. Yam worshippers only. <laughs> All right. Endless suffering awaits those who would disrespect the yam. They're... They have the plague. And they're dead. But they also have the plague. Find offerings that will please the holy yam and come back tonight for the celebration. There's a picture there, just like the mystery house, except they're taking drugs. What does that have to do with yams? Okay. Well, I'll come back there later. Power cell, lit pipe, vomit bomb. I just fast traveled to this track access hatch, took care of my inventory and stuff, and now I'm going to bring the bucket of motoline to Dr. Faraday. Oops. Brilliant. Thank you. I didn't dare ask those idiots out there. They'd only set themselves on fire again. Um, what do you need it for? I've been working on a wormhole device, you see. Well, don't you look puzzled? Spent science class mooning after a girl, did you? They said it was dangerous. Ha! <laughs> Ridiculous. It's perfectly safe for the most part. You have a device that makes, uh, a portal of some kind? Um, hmm, the, uh, the going in the whole bit works. Theoretically, I can come out a second hole on the other side of the river. I just need a few particular mechanical pieces. That's how I'm getting out. How are you getting out? Oh, simple really. I just need to get to St. George, get a letter of transit, go to the parade and cross the Britannia Bridge without being arrested or shot full of joy by a doctor. Excellent. Here, you'll need this device. I've marked the cars that have the parts I need. Well, off with you. Bye. Place three special machine bits. Requires three special machine bits. Oh, the extractor. Oh, this is the thing that can extract the cars. Ah. So, where are they? Oh, there's one just right outside. Right, there's that vehicle just right outside. I remember it. Mm, this one. I hope this isn't too loud. Oh my god. <laughs> been all these years, Sally? You ran off into the night with nothing, and now you're some sort of brilliant chemist. How did you survive? I wish I could have helped you. It'd be nice to be friends again, instead of all those dreadful things. No. Yeah, you should have. So obviously I need these specific parts, but also I, I'm sure I could use this just on any car that I find in general, so this is gonna, cars are gonna be my source of advanced machine parts. Do I really have to extract three bits? Wouldn't two do? Oh dear. I 
Oh, do I still have on my padded suit? No, I've got the torn suit. I put on the padded suit at some point off camera to get some honey. Oh dear. Wait, did I not? Did I not finish it? this device at all well i ran back down here because the last car is down here but also there's a couple things i can do here now that it's nighttime the yam thing and the mystery house thing although with the mystery house thing i forgot to make the hallucinogenic again when i was at a chemistry table but maybe the weird alcohol will be good enough maybe anyway onto the yams I also realized I actually have a couple yams in my inventory. I don't know when I got them, but I may, might need those as an offering, perhaps. Oh, it's not officially nighttime yet. I've got about 14 more minutes. I think at 9 p.m. it's considered night. Can I just straight up eat one of the mushrooms? I probably can, right? And I think I have them on me, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I can just use it. The door knows. Oh, that looks so cool. Turn back now or face the wrath of the yam. Feel. We should plant it. Each eye of the yam will make more yams. Did you read any of these signs? I did. I read them all. Hear the words of the great yam, whose names are secret and unknown, whispered in the light of the new moon. When the moon is a waxing crescent, ye shall assemble in some secret place and adore the spirit of I, who am what I am. And I will teach you things that are yet unknown. I am who I am. I am I am what I am. I am what I am. I am what I am. But you who seek me, Know thy seeking, and yearning shall avail thee not, unless you know the mystery. For if you find not my roots within thee, you will never see my leaves and flowers. For behold, I have been in thee from the beginning, and I am that which is attained at the end of desire. I am who I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. I give you joy unto the heart. I give you peace and freedom. Nor do I demand aught of sacrifice. For behold, my roots stretch into the earth and give you sustenance like the mother of all things. I am who I am. You there. Why don't you take his place at the bongos? Me? Are you joking? No? Alright. Alright. Did you die? No, they're just unconscious. They're okay. You'll mind if I uh, search this body? Apparently, you all do mind. I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. On my skin are written all the secrets for those who know how to read them. In my flesh is sweetness and softness. I am your future and your past. I am who I am. 
I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. But you who seek me, know thy seeking and yearning shall avail thee not, unless you know the mystery. For if you find not my roots within thee, you will never see my leaves and flowers. For behold, I have been in thee from the beginning, and I am that which is attained at the end of desire. I am who I am. <laughs> Bad batch? Formula Phytosteroid. Phytosteroids? Is there actually some science to this? Holy yam. Talk? I'm not high anymore and it still looks like this, so this must be real, right? Yes. Oh my yam. I have been with you since the beginning. I uh never noticed, honestly. For your suffering and your strength, I offer you three gifts. Let me give you the sturdiness of the horse, and you shall be stronger against all insults to the body. Let me give you the digestion of the dog, and you may more safely eat food that the blight has taken. Let me give you the stamina of the wolf, and you shall run longer without pausing for breath. <laughs> Everybody's instantly okay. Okay, permanent uh, stamina increase. Hmm, this person never came back though. Something else happened to them. Go sleep it off, buddy. There are flowers out here. We should plant it. Each eye of the yam will make more yams. Of course. Of course. Do I still have the whole yam on me? It w it'd be in food, wouldn't it? I probably don't. It probably disappeared once we got the book. Unless it's like a quest item? Oh no, it is here. Like a potato, but yammier and more holy. You will find more yams. Oh, just by having it on me, it increases the amount of yams I find. Awesome. I have a lot of skill points, by the way. 13. So I don't want tireless. Removing the negative effects of hunger, thirst, and exhaustion. That's meh. Silently pick locks. Eh. Reduce visibility at night. That's good. And that would lead into... Go out at night without the bobbies fussing at you. Witnesses will react more slowly to your trespassing, giving you time to run away. Curfew does not apply to player. Okay, that's fantastic. Witnesses won't react as quickly when you're trespassing. That's all fantastic. That's really good. Better distractions, more damage as a backstab. Let's see where the combat stuff leads. More melee damage. 
And double your chance to cause bleeding with puncture slash slashing weapons. 25% chance to break enemy weapon when blocking. That's pretty nice. Charge attacks cause 100% damage with a 15% chance to stun. 100% damage? Does that mean plus 100%? Because if it's just 100% damage, then that's not a damage increase. Take 15% less damage from a bunch of stuff. Okay, uh, I think the most important thing is Night Stalker, and then nothing to see here. So let's get Night Stalker, and then we'll have to wait a while to get the next one. That costs 10. They're fine, by the way. Nigel's still just unconscious. They're not dead. Don't worry about them. Went to the last car I need to extract, and there's a lot of, uh, like, thugs out here, and especially the Blighted. Uh-oh. Oh my god, there's so many of them. I don't even want to be here. That's most of them. So that's where I parked it. <laughs> oh dear. Are they going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But... We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. Hell, I don't think I had a terribly keen grasp on how many unpleasant things I've forgotten. We've got another huge group outside of the mystery house. Let's go for it. I've always loved you, actually. I wish I kept in shape. Oof. I cannot believe how many there are. It's not personal. There's a bunch more, but I don't think I have to mess with them, really. Good luck, buddy. You're not my buddy. Good luck, asshole. Find the source of the strangeness without being seen. Oh, right, I'm supposed to steal the mysterious linen. Let's make that my main quest. And let's be sneaky. And if I do have to attack somebody, let's use non-lethal weapons. Yam. <laughs> Please just lie down. Oh, cricket bat, nice. Oh, that neck. Oh my god, the neck looks horrible. 
Oh, that's broken. It says unconscious, but I don't think they're waking up. Ephemeral linen. I need a bunch of that stuff. Somebody heard that. It's not really any good place to put them. I think we're okay, and I'm not high anymore, so I can see a little bit better. If I broke that glass, would that be like a really good quality frying pan that I could get, or is that nothing? I'm not entirely sure they're Anglicans. way again. I think they're going to go back that way and I'll get them when they go there. Oh, just relax. Don't question it. If I force that open, they might hear. I should get them first. I don't think Father McCartney would approve. Oh, wait. They're further away than I thought. Oh, hey, little buddy. Oh, we got a little snout. I think this is this person's related to someone else. Someone else was something Coke. They also have the last name Coke. No one in here. Who are you? Oh, 
always drugs in the bathtub. Please don't make a fuss. I'll take out everybody and then loot more of this place, I think. Are the Guardians here? Let him come to us within the Sacred Triangle. Let him come to us who was dead, but now who rises. Open your heart. Let him enter. Open your loins. Let him enter. Open your third eye. Let him Enter. Is the doorway open? Yeah, door seems open. Should have closed it. It's better this way. Actually, there's no door here at all. <laughs> more shovels. I have dozens. So that's what they're worshipping, huh? Cool looking dude. Metal as fuck, too. They got upside down crosses. Wait, what? I had no idea that was connected to a secret door. I was just playing it for fun. Ew. Ooh, a record. Where's this go? Oh, that's like one of the first rooms you go to. That's where my body pile is. Is there anybody else here? Nope. Whoa. Sanitol. Why is it all electrified? Is this the first time I've gotten that? Don't you wish you could take a pill and make yourself healthier without dieting or exercise? Now you can. Permanently increases maximum health by a moderate amount. Oh, sweet! Yeah, I got the 10 ephemeral linen. Now we can make like a cloak of hiding or something? A little bit more to loot. Oh, stop that. There's a bunch of... Oh, there's a bunch of uh, voodoo dolls right around the door. everything. I want to leave through a window on the upper floor because that's cool. Oh, wow. I didn't expect it to be a sheer drop. <laughs> I haven't left yet. Ah. Hey, what's up? Sorry to bother. 
Hmm. Yeah. Let's also finish the treehouse quest, the ephemeral linen thing. I just want you to know that I appreciate what Brilliant. you do. Brilliant! Now we can make the suit of blending. Here's the secret instructions. Craft a suit of blending. I assume I have all the stuff. Actually, I probably don't. I, I'm sure I need a sewing kit or two, and I have none. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I can just make it right now? No, I need a workbench. And I need two sewing kits. Makes you harder to see in the dark if you don't move. Upsets people if they do see you. Okay, so it doesn't conceal your movements. Just if you don't move, you blend in more. Okay, not quite as good as I thought, but... Still, I mean, look at that visibility stat. That's way less than other stuff. I think... Yeah, everything I've worn, I think up until now, Proper Suit Torn Suit has had max visibility. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to give the mechanical parts to Dr. Faraday. <laughs>